Warning, this game contains spoilers, snakes and scorpions. <laughs> Good. I've gotten jaded to my age where, you know, things like TV-13, or TV-14, PG-13, warning, they seem to me as indicators of a good game. <laughs> I love it. Alright, so let's take a look here. Uh, we're not going to skip the intro. We'll go ahead and do that. True Survivor. Oh, so there's an optional permadeath. I like that. In difficulty level, there's normal, hard, very hard, easy, normal okay so there's four levels we'll go ahead and start on normal this story is inspired by real events according to historic records on march 4th 1513 three ships sailed from puerto rico they were heading to faraway islands and were led by the famous explorer juan ponce de leon the goal of the expedition was to search for the legendary fountain of youth It all began in Puerto Rico, when Governor Juan Ponce de Leon gave military support to the Chief Gaibana in a war against other tribes. The Spanish soldiers quickly ended the war and restored peace. The Grateful Chief told Ponce de Leon an ancient legend of his people, a legend about Bimini, a hidden island lost in the sea. According to the legend, in the center of Bimini is the Fountain of Youth. Anyone who drinks from it will enjoy long years of health and youth. The chief also gave him an old map, covered with inscriptions in an ancient language. The map showed an uncharted group of islands. The location to search was clear. But the inscriptions were still a mystery to uncover. The captain believed in the legend and began to prepare an expedition. The best scientists and sailors of the new and old worlds volunteered to join his adventure. A total of three ships sailed off. The Santiago, the Santa Maria, and the San Cristobal. Ponce de Leon was sure that the ancient map would lead them to the fountain and bring them fame, wealth, and eternal youth. The voyage to the islands took an entire month. On the 30th day of the journey, the lookout spotted islands up ahead. They were the islands from the map. The expedition was just one day from its goal. Oh. Ah, okay. One of those games where you start by waking up. Okay. Oh, okay. At least I'm a hammock sleeping, man. I sleep in hammocks when I camp, so yeah, it's comfortable. I agree. Alright, preparing for the council. Okay. How do I prepare? Do I need my stuff? Are you my stuff? Candles giving you a tip, obviously. What do we got? Sailor's note. What's this note say? In case I die at the hands of sa- <laughs> Okay, yep. Historically accurate, I'll give you that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Holy Church gets all my stuff. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Consider Ponce de Leon to be executioner of my will. Okay. Executioner of my will, not my executioner. There is a difference. Okay. All right, and I need to go to the bow of the ship. Not the bow of the ship, but the bow. Okay. I guess I'll follow the light. Can I get any of this stuff? Is this a suit-up area? Equipment area? But I'd like to have an axe and a helmet. Come on. Okay. All right. Oh! Okay. Well, I appreciate the attention to detail and kind of accuracy where the crew would just find a place to crash wherever they could that it wasn't a, you know, sleeping berth area for everyone. More hammocks. Yes, I'd absolutely be one of those hammock sleeping people as well. Can in. I know it says to go here. I'm just trying to see if there's like an area I'm supposed to go to get equipment suited up, you know? It wouldn't be the first time I've seen a game had a staging area for you to suit up, and I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss that. OK. 
Okay, typically the bow of the ship is the front, and that looks like it there. That, yeah. I was more an airman than I was a sailor, but I do know a little bit about uh, ship and sail. Definitely brightly lit enough that there's probably something for me to be here. Do I get to meet Ponce? No, I get, I get a map. I will take this map. And with this, I will find fortune and glory! Maybe. We'll see. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, there's a smart man. I'm sleeping there. <laughs> I love that. You know what? And I'm willing to bet it totally happened, and more than likely, this ship does not have enough people on it. I'm, everything I've read suggests that there should be a lot more people sleeping in the area. Go to the captain's room. Am I Ponce then? Because if I'm in his room, I'm in trouble. Okay. Well, it said no. Ponce isn't the executor of my stuff, so. And I need to find something to light this. Flint and steel. Okay, are you Flint? You are notes. You are. On the islands we explored, we found numerous traces of natives, uh, culture. Uh, of special practical da, 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 da. out of curiosity I drank the water uh, oh my gosh we're getting potions of healing this game has potions of healing that's a potion of hearing just like Dungeons and Dragons I love it <laughs> okay okay that's shiny that's my uh, flint and steel okay so from here I can light things up <gasps> guns Guns! Okay, how do I get a gun? I would like a gun, please. One gun, please. You can tell I'm an American. Okay. Um, I don't think I can get anything. What's you? Are you things? Are you things I can get? Check the expedition logbook. Your book. Through the expedition logbook. Okay. Uh, crew of the Santa Maria on strike again. This time, agree with the captain's decisions to cut their weekly portions of <laughs> I'll let you read through this, but I'm just going to laugh for a moment at, like, the argument over rum. You cut our rum ration in half. <laughs> and I get it. It's historically accurate. I get it. Yes, I get it. But I'm still going to laugh at it. Yeah. Where's all the rum god? Oh. Sparrow, where are you when we need you? <laughs> okay, so it looks like one ship might still be around there. Well, technically, all the ships are around, but I get a feeling there's going to be something happen to the one I'm on. Otherwise, this wouldn't be much of a survival game. Okay, um, place the map on the... Ooh, can I get the sword? Sword, please. Ha nah. Okay. Placing the map on the stand. What does this do for me? Read the map. What? What? Yep, I knew something was gonna happen. I called it. I know my survival games. Ow! 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 Ow again! New goal: shipwrecked. <laughs> Shipwreck has a goal. Okay. Um, that's not a great day, is it? Okay. Uh, now do I get to grab stuff? Can I have the sword, please? No. Okay. Um. Okay. This is uh, Grotto Grotto Map. Okay. Apparently, I'm supposed to go here. Great. I'm on a ship right now. We'll take a look at that later. Um, okay, oh, hang on, now the trunk is, uh, I can take two items. Okay, obviously that's backpack expansion, I want to try a trick. Okay, I was hoping maybe the backpack expansion would let me take more items, but okay, that's not going to work, I'm not surprised. Okay, coat is basically low-level armor. Ooh, flint steel, fire, that may become a top priority. Iron, uh... The sword is already, the spear is already in red. Food, pistol. I'm gonna take fire and I'm gonna take an axe because 
I'm willing to bet I'm gonna need to chop trees and that axe seems like something that would uh, be able to chop trees and kill things and start fire. Need to make sure I took the right things. You know, I think I have because this ain't Commander Tom's first survival course. So let's go ahead and jump. senses on the sandy shore. My memories were gone. I could not even remember my name. But I was alive and hoped that at least one of my fellow crew members had also escaped. And that is the introduction video to Survival Fountain of Youth. If you are curious to see uh, If I Live to See Tomorrow, make sure to continue on with the actual gameplay. I'm Commander Tom. I'll see you next time.